Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is a fantasy movie review and I'll be having a look at the movie Midnight Chronicles. So this is actually based on a role playing game, tabletop role playing game. And as you can expect it's this kind of medieval type fantasy movie. This one actually has a bit of an original twist to it because here the, the landscape is one where the bad guys have basically won and essentially conquered the free world. And we're told in a kind of prologue basically that a hundred or so years ago there was kind of this last great war and ultimately the bad guys won so the kind of the landscape is is very much kind of that of a like of this of oppressive government it very much reminds me of star wars i've got to say in a lot of ways with the empire and this is kind of a little bit like the the, the, the kind of bad guys here and it's almost told from the, the, the bad guys perspective for the most part uh it's really it doesn't really have a central character as such but if it did there would be a guy called Mac, who's almost kind of, I guess, the Darth Vader of the of the bad guys, and he's essentially almost like this uh, Inquisitor, this kind of like dark priest, who is sent on a on a, on a mission to this town where sort of, to investigate a, a missing priest and sort of strange goings on in this sort of, in this sort of town. Uh, there is actually good guys uh, as well, but they're kind of more sub characters. It's an odd film to review because there's not a lot actually happens in in a lot of ways, and it's a lot of talking, very very little action, and it's it, I think it's almost trying to set up a an ongoing story, which is, as far as I know it hasn't. This, this this is the only thing, and I think maybe it was either either been meant to set up a TV series or a series of films. The best way I can describe this film, if you play Xbox role-playing games, PlayStation role-playing games, that sort of thing, if you've played stuff like Dragon Age or Skyrim, Oblivion, stuff like that, this this film is basically like a side quest where you kind of, you know, it's not something that really feels massively important, but it's just one of those things you kind of want to do to get the kind of complete the game. And that's what the story of this, this film feels like. There's a, there's a whole host of characters uh some of which seem absolutely superfluous to the actual plot and we're, we're much better off being sort of cut out uh the most the acting the acting is pretty bad they they way overact almost to the point where i think it comes across as being a bit pretentious the one exception to that is the kind of i would say the kind of this mag guy this kind of like main bad guy as such um and he, you know, he gives actually a fairly good performance, I've got so I quite liked his character, but he was the only one. We look at the, the good guys of this film, and they're such a bunch of bland, forgettable characters, and, and the kind of one who I think is meant to be almost like this sort of great saviour of good is, is kind of, I guess you would call him like your Luke Skywalker of the film. He's just so, such a bad actor. And so bland, it's you know, it's it's just you just don't want to see him just counting the sound. Please get off the screen. On a positive note with this film, it's it's it kind of has some interesting looks. I think some of the sort of set designs are you know fairly strong and kind of we have you know quite a few kind of nice shots here and there. Some of the sort of the makeup and the props look fairly decent, I've got to say. I think the orcs look pretty good if they're kind of a little bit of a rip-off of Lord of the Rings, but there you go. Uh, but the sort of you know the, the little costumes department, the makeup department, I think is pretty good. There's kind of this old, like elite, like a uh, elite witch woman who is kind of not meant to be one of the heads of this bad guys, and she looks pretty gruesome, I've got to say. But it's the main problem here, I have to say, is the script first of all, and then the acting. The script just falls apart, unfortunately. It's it's just not in, it's not an interesting film to watch. It was actually quite quite boring, and it falls it falls under its own weight. A lot of the time as well. So the script, I, I think it was written, produced and directed all by the same guy. And he's obviously very invested in this sort of thing. But unfortunately, um, he, he doesn't make it accessible to, I think, people coming from outside of that. who just going to want to watch it as a film, I think. And it just, it becomes, it comes across as being quite self-indulgent, I have to say. So, you know, not, not particularly good script. Maybe the direction was a, a bit better from the same guy, but I think he, I think he should maybe leave scripting to someone else. That coupled with, with his kind of dodgy acting, and also pretty much no action in this film makes for a, you know, not not a particularly fantastic viewing experience. I mean, aesthetics aside, there's not a lot I, I can really sort of say to sort of um, recommend this film. Unfortunately, if there was a, a sequel to him, I, I, I potentially would have may watch it, but I really wouldn't be all that fussed about it.
if you're kind of looking for an action film or a you know maybe you actually from McKinnon, the sort of Lord of the Rings, Beast Mars, or that sort of thing, that they're, they're, they're better even in the sort of the low budget market, as you can see in some of the other reviews that I've done here. Now, some interesting ideas, as I say, it was kind of nice to have this sort of this this original idea where the bad guys have taken over. But like I said, to me, it just kind of reminded me of Star Wars in that respect. So I'm going to give this one a 3.5 out of 10. Uh, so not a fantastic film in any stretch of the imagination. Having seen it, leave me a comment. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.